stops. And that's how you generate runs. When you can slow down your opponent, get the ball, and get some quick, easy buckets, that's going to be what spurs a run, as you see. Another injury on the ground. That's Keandra Brown, the junior, who's grabbing what looks like her right thigh. We have seen a handful of injuries in this tournament. That's the only downside to what has been a marvelous three days, is there has been almost one pretty disturbing injury per game. Brown hasn't been in that long, really just checked in. It's only the seventh game she's played this year. Let's see what happened. 23 on the screen. It's like she tripped and grabs that leg. Like her foot got stuck on the floor, right. but she's grabbing that back towards like her hamstring. Oh, oh maybe and it was there's right that there. bump. Yeah, when Parks, it could have been that. The Hoosiers down. Last time they played a basketball game was this weekend in that dramatic loss to Iowa on the last second buzzer beater by Caitlin Clark. They didn't. This has been a disappointing start, and they've still got their teammate down on the ground. Gingerly try to let her sit up. They're really trying to stabilize her leg, too, when they sit her up. Brown, the 6-2. A little bit of good news. Keandra Brown did come to a stand, although you can see she's still obviously clearly in some severe pain. They brought a wheelchair around to sit her in. She just went down a moment ago. The crowd, everyone here in Minneapolis, has been standing and applauding her as they take her off the court. Again, injuries have been the worst part of this week. We've seen far too many of them, and, and there's been no consistent threat except just unfortunate timing. But the game does go on. Hopefully, we will see Brown back on the bench soon. We'll keep you posted on what we learn. How does this impact the game, these final 358 minutes of the second quarter for both teams? Well, it's scary to see your teammate go down in an injury that, that looks to be pretty bad. So 